Welcome back. I'm going to talk about my Alice in Chains self-titled album collection. This album is also known as Tripod. So we'll start with the two CD pressings here. Both 1995 original CD pressings. I also have a clear CD case variant. Here's the purple one. Um, I came across another one that you could see the dog's uh, glowing neon eyes better than this one. Um, I think essentially it's the same pressing though. Um, but strangely enough on that case I believe it was all purple so there's variants um, within variants which is very interesting I thought. I mean um, unless someone just changed out the case. This is showing up blue on my viewfinder. I'm pretty sure in the video it's showing up purple. And I can actually see through the case in the viewfinder. Anyways, great album, really dark. Um, 95 pressing on vinyl, and there's a uh, like a few different bootleg copies of it. There's one on white vinyl. There's one on uh, I think red. But this is an original 1995 pressing, first pressing, uh, U.S. pressing that is. I'm not sure if there was a UK press and there probably was, but I've never seen it or even heard of it. But you have songs like Grind, Brush Away, Sludge Factory, Heaven Beside You, Head Creeps, Again, Shame in You, God M, So Close, Frogs, and Over Now. I think the Nothing song, yeah, that's a good one too. But um, there's an actual picture of a real person there. I forget what his name was. He, uh, I think he was with a circus or something way back um, I think in the late 20s or 30s but um strangely enough this has not seen an official reissue I'm surprised Columbia has not reissued this yet now they did reissue uh, Man in the I'm sorry uh, Facelift uh, this last year in a <clears throat> I think it was two LP set at 45 RPMs and then a box set. Not sure if it's analog sound, but from what I heard, like a sample of it on YouTube, it did sound good. Um, so yeah, it was remastered. Um, this does deserve a, uh, a reissue, even if it's the original mastering, because this blows. This is better than the CDs, but the CDs do sound really, really good. And. Uh, <coughs> It's a double LP, so they did it right. Uh, good fidelity, good album, I mean, uh, good instrument separation. Uh, sorry, it's late. Iconic image there. They were gonna go with an actual photo of a dog, which that photo did show up in the Alice in Chains 1999 box set, which I also own. So I'm kind of wondering, uh, maybe Jerry doesn't wanna see you know want to go through and remat uh, have this remastered and you know listen to the tapes again or even maybe approve the uh new mastering jerry's more wanting he wanted to move on from from this era and not in spite or to uh disrespect his friend lane um i understand he didn't want to feel the pain of this loss is heavy uh, so maybe that's the reason why and uh, but great album it is dark and one interesting tidbit about this album they wrote the lyrics in the studio uh, as the recording of the album you know went along which is an interesting approach and uh, on that note Nirvana did the same thing on their early stuff um, like on some songs they recorded on the radio, I think Kurt did that on a few with a few songs, or claimed he did, anyways. So this one's hard to see, <laughs> hard to see the uh, track listing. But on all the CD copies I have, all the CDs are neon. But in that other variant that I saw in the store, uh, the disc was actually purple, and I haven't seen that since. But it's probably not hard to find. Um, these are a dime a dozen. And these are the best sounding CD copies of the album, the original 1995 person. <clears throat> so there's the inside. The booklets are all the same, even the record. 
Um, track listing, exactly the same. Interesting uh, barcode there. Got this guy on the cheap, but, you know, <clears throat> even the uh, newest CD uh, issue of this album sounds good. I mean, interestingly enough, though, the it does sound different than this. This is the best one to get. Or even this one. I don't know if they released... Uh, the original CD and there's like a regular clear jewel case not really sure uh, the colored variants of CD cases are kind of rare in the industry I mean they put them out you know pink and red uh, neon yellow like this uh, blue there's a blue one and I've shown that before um, I'll show it again actually here soon but uh, yeah Alice in Chains self-titled so yeah guys these are the ones to get the originals they're the cds are not hard to find the records are gonna be expensive i don't know how rare they are or if they're uh <coughs> or if the market is just getting you know uh low on them so to speak due to the pandemic but uh, yeah that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed come back for another video soon